Hello, people of God. Today's scripture comes from Matthew 6, and it says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So, um, the Christian Standard Bible says, But seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be provided for you. NIV, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. And the Amplified Version says, but first and foremost, and importantly, seek, aim at, and strive for his kingdom and his righteousness, his way of doing and being right. The attitude and character of God and all these things will be given to you also. We are living in a world where everyone talks about their truth. This is my truth. Your truth and my truth may not match up, but in my own world, this is my truth. But the scripture is saying that God has a measurement of what's right and wrong. God has a measurement of truth. And his and it's not even so much a measurement, but a standard of truth. That is the truth that he has set. And so when someone says my truth, and if it does not measure up to God's truth, then that truth is a lie. The Bible says, let God be true and every man a liar. So when you want God's hand to be over your life and God will bless you, he'll bless whom he will. But when you want God's hand on your life, you have to seek first the kingdom of God. Do things the way he would like you to do. And you will see things added to you. You will see blessings come. You will see doors open. But when you're doing it your way, in your own measurement of your own truth, in your own will, in your own power, not by my might, not by my own power, but by the spirit of the living God is how these things come to pass and how these doors are opened and how you receive your breakthrough. So seek first the kingdom of God, get in God's face, and things will be added to you. The very things that God has for you, the things that you will need.